Excuses Ladies show, episode number 39. I have Liz with me. Before we're gonna start, I wanna I wanna welcome everybody to the show and tell you a little bit quickly about the show. What is the No Excuses Ladies show all about? It's all about it, it's for all of you out there who have been making too many excuses in their life and find yourself unhappy and unsuccessful. Uh, so this show shows you the example of no excuses, how my family, my Frick family and the invited guests have applied the no excuses mindset. So it helped them in their areas of life, like mind, body, business, and relationship. Mm -hmm. And this show is for everyone. It's not just for the ladies, it's for everyone who wants to become a badass mm -hmm. <laughs> and who is a badass. So if you're not there yet, it's okay. You can become one. Now, by having me as your accountability coach, I will lead you and guide you for, to, for your po full potential. But... Now, are you going to apply all the things in your life that I'm going to teach you or maybe the guest speaker will give you the advice? It's up to you. So taking the full responsibility, guys, is number one today, a priority for all of us. So you can scale in life and go forward and discover the true purpose and mission. So let's do this together. Welcome to the show, episode number 39. Liz is with me. I think she. this is her first time and we were just talking about it. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. <laughs> I even have always butterflies. It's This is normal. You know, getting out of the comfort zone, guys. We're just sitting nicely and comfortable here. So let's just sit and talk about today's topic. Today's topic will be really congratulating her on her over 25 pounds weight loss. Mm -hmm. But transformation is the key in her mind, body, business and relationship to herself. That's what we're going to discuss. So please, if you have any questions, participate with us. Ask us a question. Ask her question because her life is busy. So yes. Liz, thank you so much for yes. showing up. Absolutely. Thank yes. you for doing this. Uh, she's a busy mama for So let's start. Let's go back to the beginning how we all met. Do you remember how we met? I remember. You so, were sitting on the ground at jiu-jitsu and I offered you my son's chair. I had my son give you uh, his chair. Yes. And then we started talking from there. And we just started talking and, and, and kind of uh, getting to know each other. Uh, that's how the relationship started. And then uh, it kind of led, you, you kind of asked me what I was mm -hmm. doing. And I told you what we were doing, that we were offering the virtual sessions and the virtual program. What, what do you remember from that conversation? <laughs> Maybe let's do this this way. I remember looking at you and you were really fit or you, you are really fit. And I remember at that moment, I was struggling with my weight. I was very unhappy and I was just doing everything I could to lose weight, but I was just not successful. And I remember looking at you and I was like, wow, what is she doing? What does she do? She looks amazing. I thank you. Thank yeah. you. And this is, you see, it's always good to ask the person because our vision might be a little bit different the way how we remember things from a perspective or point of the another person. So that what was going through her mind and she was asking me questions. And this is good that she actually asked those questions because I was able to lead her mm -hmm. to the virtual session. So tell us like what, so that's how it started. But okay, so you were trying all these things to lose weight and you were unsuccessful yes. in it. I was very, very unhappy. I was, I was trying diet pills, the fasting, I was doing everything and I was always starving and I just became almost desperate to the end. I just, I didn't know what else to do. So I was asking and I saw you and I asked, you know, what do you do? What, you know, mm -hmm. How do you? So this is like a scenario and I know that a lot of you can relate to this, that you know, you, you, you have that moment and you're trying, you're trying the diet, you try the pills, you try everything and, and nothing works. That's number one. But also because you, you all the time hungry, you yes. given, you give up so quickly because diets don't work. And we always say, we've always been saying this for many years, diet don't work. But for someone that is new to the idea of how we do things, it's it's really difficult for you to find out okay okay is this true what she's talking about what is this right is this really something that 
uh, uh, applied to, to, to me and like why how how can I can I change my mindset so so tell me like what what did, what did you start with like wh how did you overcome that mindset and what changes happen in you so what you so can start with that if you remember you gave me the website and mm -hmm. then I joined the next morning I did the workout so it's virtual workouts. Yeah. That's what she yeah, started virtual. on, on virtual workouts. Right. And then I thought, this is just like everything else. It's not going to work. Listen so, to her mindset. This is good. Like this is yeah. what maybe even stays in your head. Like, okay, like this is what, uh, this yeah. is good. Because yeah. a lot of people think like this. And it's good to point this out. Yeah, it's true. I thought, no, it's not going to work. It's like everything else. So in the beginning, I was... I was really excited and then I just got, I was, I just gave into my mindset of, I can't do this, um, it's not going to work, it's not for me. I started coming up with a bunch of excuses, right? Um, and then I got on the program where you started teaching me what to eat, what not to eat. So I thought I was eating healthy by eating, eating mango and um, you know, like smoothies in the morning because I'm a mom of four and I'm busy. I'm hungry and I overeat. Sometimes I'm eating goldfish and bagels. There you go. Do you relate to this? You have some of you have a lot of kids. She's mom of four, super mom. So I yeah, always say this. So I'm always on the go, go, yeah. go. Let's go. So I remember you brought me into your home and you and you introduced Herbalife because I Herbalife. Herbalife. We did. Yes. Yeah, I've heard a lot about Herbalife and I was like, it's probably disgusting. I don't know it doesn't taste good but when you brought me in I remember and I tasted that it, it changed my mind I was like what like this is so delicious it literally is delicious mm -hmm. I love it and I remember falling in love with it and um, I was like if I could drink this every day this is delicious so so I remember yeah. like we were in the kitchen and doing the, the herbal life concoctions mm -hmm. and tasting and by the way we actually drinking our uh, herbal tea concentrate <laughs> Salud <laughs> Nasdrovia and, 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 and yes, we were tasting, we were tasting the products, but what I want to go back to it for a second, when you were, I remember you go, going on the live workouts and the virtual program. If you have any questions, we can answer this later. I can give you even the site when you can see the virtual workouts. I remember you showing up and doing the sessions and why did you think this wouldn't work? I mean, what, what was the, what was the reason behind it? Like why you thought, oh, this is like anything else? Um, because there's so many, there's just so many programs and, um, you're just like, this is just like everything else, right? I've tried working out, um, but I didn't know the importance of my eating. My eating habits are so important. It's like 90%. I could do the workouts. But it was, I was hungry all the time. And then I didn't know how mm -hmm. to eat mm -hmm. until yeah. you started coaching me and what to eat and what not to eat. So this was the part, the, the missing link that you've mm -hmm. always had. And that's what we provide with you guys. What to eat, what not to eat. And this is no brainer, but yet a lot of people have a problem with. So people constantly search for the magic pill, magic diet, instead of going down to basics and understanding the nutrition. And once you're going to do this, and you did that, mm -hmm. you're going to have great results. And we're not just talking about Herbalife more. This was the reason why we introduced and why we tried Herbalife with you, because you are a busy mom. Yeah. Our lives are busy. Is your life busy? Is your life busy? Like, if you can describe your life and you think that you're always rushing, missing breakfast, missing dinner, mm -hmm. uh, skipping meals, that's the program for you, because you... Put, plug it in, the missing links throughout the day, and that's what's been missing. It's been fulfilled by awesome protein, right? right. And that's what you like, correct? Yeah, because I'm on the go in the morning. I'm not very hungry. I have a cup of coffee, and then I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. But now I have a shake, and I'm like, okay, I'm good for another three three hours, right? So I'm okay, and, and I feel good. I feel full. And so what happens to the me. cravings? Like, what do you do when you have cravings? Because I know a lot of people, a lot of moms uh, have cravings. And even me, myself, I mean, I have two kids. And I know when sometimes you, uh, they eat like some snacks, but yet you, you, you look at the snack and you're like, okay, can I have a little a piece of this, a little, a little, a little thing? Like, how do you deal with those cravings nowadays? I replace it with uh, the shakes. So let's say the kids have, 
um, a muffin. They had a pumpkin, pumpkin muffin. Yes. And I have the shake, so I replace it. Mm -hmm. So whatever I'm craving, if they're having brownie, I replace it with a protein bar. That awesome. Tastes like brownie. Awesome points here. So, yeah, it's just replacing it and also filling myself with the good fuel, the right food that's good for me. So I'm full. So after I eat a good meal, I don't have cravings for anything like mm -hmm. chips and cookies and pastries. So after I fill myself, right, with the right amount of food. Yes, yes. So... so so, so that's like a significant thing. So thank you for sharing. And I know that so many of you, so many, I mean, it can, any, any of you can have that struggle. So there is a way to overcome this. And that's what we're trying to explain to you today, that this is a way, this is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. And it worked for her. Would this go work for you exactly the same pattern that she has? Not necessarily, but certain things can work for you that you can plug it in exactly through your day. But as long as you're not thinking that this is a diet, because the moment you're going to start thinking this is a diet, it will never work. It will never work. So we need to keep that in mind. So if you could, it, obviously you, you, you were doing the workouts, you were doing the, the program, but since I always go down to those three famous fees that I created, people, places, and products, that those are sometimes obstacle in your life. So let's start with just your family. You are a busy mom, family, or you have four kids, but does everybody in the household was on the same page with you? Absolutely not. So it let's start very, with this. very, hard. My husband um, was not on board. Unfortunately, he would eat. Um, you know, junk food. Just his, yeah. his way. Yeah, okay. His way. So um, he would eat out burgers, buffalo wings, fries, donuts, Starbucks. Just, and it was very hard for me to. In the beginning. Yeah, right? in the beginning, because you're so used to just eating, mm -hmm. right? You're just, you eat because you're bored, you eat because you're hungry, you don't know what to eat, you know? So it was very, very hard for me in the beginning. I had to make the decision within myself to say, no, I'm going to do this. Nothing's going to stop me. I can lose the weight. Mm -hmm. Because I was just so discouraged. I would look at myself in the mirror and I would just hate what I would see. I would want to cover up all the time. So this, this fact that you are so uncomfortable it was in pushing you constantly. Skin. Okay, I got to do this. I cannot go back to my old habits. And you might be facing the same thing. You guys, it's in the beginning, it's not going to be easy. But those are the things that if you don't give up, if you keep on pushing, that's where the outcome comes. But too many people give up so quickly. So she was constantly doing it, and now she's sitting next to me just before we started. She was pointing the loose jeans and everything else. I mean, 25 pounds weight loss. Uh, that's one thing, it's just the physical, but the mental aspect, right? So uh, you've had these obstacles at home. Obviously, not everybody were on the board. Uh, did anything change over the course of a few months now? Is it a little better now? Yes, my husband's now yeah, on board. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so look, you so, can be the influencer yeah. and influence your household as long as you're going to stick to your guts, guys, and yeah. know that this is good. I just want to make sure that everybody on Instagram see us, so just slide it in a little bit. So, yes, guys, thank you. We're doing a discussion today. It's a great discussion, so make sure that you are asking your questions because now it's the time to ask questions. Busy mom homeschooling, on top of everything, she does homeschooling. And, you know, United States is such a great country. We have ability to homeschool uh, today. Like in Poland, we can't do that. This is illegal, but, like, I know that France, Denmark, has it, uh, Norway has it, so there are countries out there that allow that, and uh, that's what's, what Liz been doing, so think about it, her busy life, mm -hmm. she is, uh, you are at home also, because you're doing homeschooling, mm -hmm. so, but yet, you're not going into, okay, opening up the fridge and getting the bad stuff, so, yeah. because now you have a system, correct? Mm -hmm. So, no excuses, this is exactly a, 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 an example of no excuses. But now we're going to go into places. So think about it. Uh, she started a, a job in a restaurant business mm -hmm. a while ago. And you would say, okay, now she is in a restaurant business. She can eat whatever she likes. And so how do you manage this now? Okay, so I work at 
Okay, I work at a BJ's, so we get food constantly. Pizza, buffalo wings, that's what they bring. That's, that's what, what we're, they bring. You know, popular for. Mm -hmm. And everybody, we have a, you know, area where everybody eats, and sometimes we get free pizza there. You know, and then I see people munching, and what helps me is I prepare. If I know I'm going to work, I prepare. I pack myself my protein, my vegetables, or a shake. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you prepare. So I prepare. Also, giving this idea of being prepared no matter what. So you like thinking ahead of time. Yes. And when this thinking ahead of time started, like, was it right in the beginning? No. No, it, I fell so many times, I can't fail. tell you. I, she fell so many times. So look, through failure, yes. you're learning. Yes. You're learning. Because what happens if you skip the meal or you're not prepared? What's going to happen? You're going to overeat. You're going to overeat. Not only that, you're going to reach for something that it's not right. Mm -hmm. Because when your sugar level drops, guys, you're going to reach for that sugar no matter what. But if you keep your sugar level at the same time, and how are you going to do this? By eating protein. By eating protein, you're going to keep the same sugar level. And also, what happens is, have you ever had that moment that you would skip the meals and then at the end of the day, the fridge just constantly opens because you want to eat so yes. much? Yes. Keep that in mind. Yes. That was in the beginning, a lot of it. And then through the time or the years, I have learned now to not buy that food. Mm -hmm. To only pack my refrigerator with high protein protein high protein low sugar low carbs mm -hmm. so it's not just for me it's for my whole family if i don't buy the junk they can't eat it but that does not come in the beginning that's learn baby steps mm -hmm. little baby steps little by little i have become more disciplined and it takes time and it's you know i've had so many years to eat unhealthy it's going to take time to it's learn been, a new habit. Yes, but it's been yeah. so long. And like, tell me like what you, what you love about the product, the product and uh, just overall the, the program that we have offered versus other programs. <clears throat> what, what's different? What do you think? Okay, so what was different in the beginning was I thought, that was my mindset, right? Everything is it's the same as everything. But when you came to me and you made it personal with me, and you really cared about me. That was the difference where I thought, okay, you know, she really cares about me. She's genuine. Um, and spending time with me, coaching me, you know, because I didn't have that support at home. So you were my support. Mm -hmm. So surrounding myself with people that will push me and, and, and encourage me and love me and tell me, yes, you can. You can lose the weight. You know, and, and not just that, but I wasn't hungry. You know, mm -hmm. when I started, I started, okay, I'll just give her a chance. I'll give her, that's what my mindset was. I'll give her a chance. If it doesn't work, I'll quit. And, you know, whatever. And I said, I'll give her 30 days. So I tried the product and I was not hungry. And I love the shake. I mean, I, I look every morning, I look forward to it. And I'm not just saying that. I really do love it. Like, I cannot imagine life without it. This Last night, I just ordered more because I'm out. And there's different flavors. So... You know, if I'm craving chocolate or chai or just different flavors. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not hungry. That's the number one, is that I'm not starving. And mm -hmm. that's what a lot of diets are. Yes. And that's why I yes. failed because I was always hungry. And yes. now learning how to eat and how to fuel my body is, is, is key. I feel like I can do this. I'm not hungry. I'm eating good because, you know, I, I, I love what I mm -hmm. eat. I love mm -hmm. what, you know, taking the shake. I love yeah. it. I look forward to it. And being per and being personal, like she said. So, yes, taking the time and coaching someone and really doing, I would say, evaluation and talk. And that's what I offer. We, that's what we do because it's not just the workouts. It's planning. It's like we're going to go into business in a second, really discovering your purpose and your mission because, it's so important, like once you're going to change the physical body, right, the mindset is changing, but then you are looking for that missing piece in the puzzle, okay, what else will make me happy? Mm -hmm. That fulfillment that comes from doing what you love, and we're going to touch on this, but before we're going to do this, Liz had, it's been what, how long, month, two, three months since you had a surgery? It's been quite un some time, I think, right? It's April. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's been quite some time. The time just flew by, mm -hmm. and 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 this this particular thing that happened, you you still didn't give up on your program, so it became a part of you. Mm -hmm. So the the point is, guys, that again, to create something that will become a part of you, but the only way 
you're going to do this if you truly love something. Because without love, it, it, it's going to be a temporary fix. And temporary fix just ended up in being a failure, right? right. And you don't want that. You don't want to go back to your old habits. You, right. you, you want to feel happy and you want to feel happy with your, with your body the way how you are. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, uh, and, and you were craving this the moment that I met you. I remember it, like you were showing me the pictures when you were like, you know, oh. 10, 15 years <clears throat> younger. And you would say to me, how is this possible? When oh. I was so young, I would just not eat for a week and I would lose that weight. Yeah. Oh. And I remember yeah. telling you, Liz, this is not the way to do it. That's, you know, that's me, young me, 20 years old will do the same. Yeah. But then it's not the way to do it. The only way to do it is eating healthy to have a good energy for yourself, for your family, for your kids, and setting up the good example. Because yes. remember, kids are watching yes. you. They will watch you closely. If you're not going to pay attention, no. they're going to take wrong mm -hmm. examples from you. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to create a bulimic or anorexic in your family. And if you do that, you are subconsciously putting that something in their mind. And it's not healthy. Because I was an anorexic. Bulimia growing up all Here my life. Go. I have always struggled with eating disorders and not eating and, and, and starving myself. And 10 years ago, I, I could do that when I was in my 20s. I could just starve myself and I would be, you know, perfect weight. And now I'm like, I can't do that. I have four children I have to attend to. I have a job at night. I have, I need energy. I need yes. to fuel myself with something. So now I don't see it as eating. I see it as fueling my body. I want to feel my body, and it's not always delicious, right? Like eating a salad or... All the time. Yeah, same. all the time. But well, but you can make it delicious, right? You right. Can, you're using different spices and other things, but exactly, it comes to the point in your life that these habits that you have, they will no longer work, that you can just go on unhealthy habits because your energy has to be distributed on others, and that's the motherhood, right? Yeah. That's what it is. And then salute to the yeah. tea. <laughs> salute to the tea, guys. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Nastrovia. And and there is no longer don't no, no longer an option of not eating. So I just no. remember like we were sitting, you were looking at these pictures and I said, Liz, can you imagine yourself a few months later that you're gonna reach that goal? Can you can you see yourself? And it you, you try, it's hard. But how did you visualize yourself being thin? No. So how, that was never, the visual th thing never happened? Are you sure? I mean, I, I just, it, it, I had tried so many different things. Where I was just like, I don't know what's going on. I went to my doctor and, and just, I was such in a desperate state where I didn't want to be skinny like I was. I just wanted to feel good about myself. I wanted to look at myself and love what I saw. And, you know, I just... I couldn't find that and now um, going through the process it's I love what I see and I'm not at the weight yet and I say yet because I know that slowly I will get there so I feel I feel motivated when I look at those the pictures I was showing you mm -hmm. I feel good because I've lost the weight and I will get there in a healthy stage in a healthy because the unhealthy stage will never uh, never overpower the healthy stage because the unhealthy stage you will quit eventually that's what it is it's unsustainable but the healthy stage can so the relationship to yourself uh, how do you describe now the relationship with yourself how do you see like you said you see yourself better in a better life now light right mm -hmm. right i do i love wearing i love trying on clothes and I feel better about myself just as a mom. I, I feel, um, you know, I, I feel better about myself. I like going shopping and my clothes, you know, seeing my jeans, how big they are. It just gives me like this, yes, you know, I could do it. I can keep going. I could, you know, and it's, I'm not starving. And that's, you know, the big thing is that mm -hmm. I think a lot of us are hungry and we hear like these diets that you can't eat this much or little portions. Um, Especially now. With the overwhelming factor of things, it's just such a chaos. And I'm sure you guys can agree with this. It's a chaos in the life. It's so much information 
that you just go from one I, I think that the life of people is so chaotic that they go from one thing to the next like the next big thing the next big thing what is the next diet what is the next thing that I can do to throw myself for a little bit so I will feel better and then I will quit again and that's I always call this the hamster wheel because it spins you so fast. And you know what happens to the hamster? I actually have two. And you have one dwarf one. Do you know what happens to the hamster? When he goes with such a speed in a wheel. He being thrown off the freaking wheel. We saw our zap and zip. That's their name. Just flying out. I'm like, what happened to the hamster? A hamster just went yeah. out of the thing. Yeah, and it was, yeah, it happened to you. So you don't want to be in a hamster wheel. No. You don't. You want to come with a smart and being like, I got this. For the first time in my life, I got this. And 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 so so the relationship that you, she has with herself is much better. And now she discovered another thing. And that's what we're going to go right now because... I was just saying before she came and how we met and then exactly in this my office when a few weeks ago the kids were here hanging out together playing and, and it was late at night and you said you came here to my office and you sit here and I was sitting at my desk not even here I was sitting in my desk and and that was a big break for in you but that's the thing I said did you know that he, I coached you that, that, that night? I did not know. She had no clue. She had no clue. And for a series of questions asked, what happened? I discovered um, my purpose. I discovered that um, I need to do something I love. And that is a floral business. And, and I love interior work. And... I, I want to just add this, that if you don't believe in yourself, because I didn't believe in myself, it's important to surround yourself with people that do believe in you. Mm -hmm. Like you, you really believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So that's... Thank you for trusting me. Uh, I mean, I, I, I see things in people that I guess my magic thing, that magic yeah. thing that I have, that I have that belief and I know that you can do it. But the purpose that we discovered for Liz wasn't something immediate. First of all, I needed to get to know her. And through questions, through seeing what she does, through things that she mentioned as more like a complaint or, or not giving her good energy, we discovered that this is a different thing for her. So, like I give you an example. If I talk about a floral design or... Uh, I just mentioned the other day, I said, we're going to have a, a, a theme for Ivanka for her birthday. It's going to be horse and saddles and like, you know, cowboy Cowboys. stuff. Yeah. Yes, but she's still a girl. Immediately, there was like 20, 20 pictures sent to me, all these different <laughs> ideas. And I know she lives in that zone. That's yeah. her zone of genius. Any person has a zone of genius. And I just want to point this out to you. If you work in a in a place that does not give you good energy, that you don't discover these butterflies, these things that, like, the creative spot, you're wasting your life. Yes. You are. And it's it, you can't keep on saying to yourself, oh, but I, I need to make money. I need to, you know what? Do everything what you have. Hire a coach. Let the coach discover and you help you with your uh, with your schedule to, to de decide and put on the schedule an hour of your time every day to create a business because big businesses like our businesses didn't didn't happen overnight this is a constant creation and constant effort to put something to build something you know like we are in the process of creating a clothing line right now it's called the freak code and i've been working for this for months because it's it's a series of things that we're doing every, can be every single day, can be two times a week, can be three times a week. So you had the big break for that night. Yeah. You didn't know that I coached you. Yeah. I led you and she was like, I remember sitting in a chair. You were like, yes, I gotta do this. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. And what I happened remember. in the past few weeks? What have yeah. you been doing? Well, tell us, tell us. I, I opened.
into uh, Instagram and I started taking pictures. I started creating my vases, my floral vases, and I just started sending pictures to all my friends. There and then go. I put it on Facebook, you know, and it, it took that, you know, courageous step to just, what if they don't like my work? What if I'm not... Okay, so she's so doubting herself. So look at this. She's now questioning herself. What if, what if, what if? But how you overcome this? Coaching? Yes. Coaching what, and what else? Like, how do you... Like, because that self-doubt is always in, with us. Like, look, guys, like, when I do the show right now with you, uh, can, can this show be done in a different way? It can be done in a thousand different ways. Can we say different things? Of course. Uh, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. It's real life. Magic happens in reality. In this moment, that's where the magic is. But so many people just don't live it. You know, it's like, it's like uh, they wait for the perfect moment. They wait for the perfect thing. Where is the next per No, do it now. Like, like when you were sending these pictures to your friend, you just did it. I and then it. the response come in. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> I brought her vase of beautiful arrangements to the wedding of uh, Poe and Tiffany recently that we went in Arizona again. Congratulations, guys. They loved it. And, and this will be more for her. You know why? Because she goes extra mile. Because she lives with love. This is your love, right? I what else? What else? Passion. So how do you feel like, okay, versus going to the restaurant and working at a restaurant and this. Give oh me the... my gosh, it's a night and day. I would rather slave myself or give everything I give at work. Because I, when I go to work, I give it all. I give it my 100%. And I hear you have potential. You know, you have great work, work ethics. And all that is great, but yes. where is it taking me? It's not taking me nowhere. It's not taking me somewhere. I don't want to work as a manager. I don't want to, you know, run a, a restaurant. I already run a home. I would rather run my business mm -hmm. and put all my energy and all my passion into something that is for me, something I get to love and do every single day. I could do florals, interior work all day long if I could. I know you do because I, that's what it. That's the sign when she sends me all these pictures. She lives in her zone. That's yeah. everybody has this, and everybody. And you know what? When you discover discover this, it's just like an eye opening. You almost enter the world or enter the door to another space, isn't it? Like it's it's like these part of everything just becomes so put together, right? When yes. you have that the joy of creating because I think we all have that yes. creative moment yes. in, in mind, different in places. different places. Yeah. So she, uh, so we've been, we've been talking about the business and now you kind of know where you're going to be doing these little things because yes. we just discussed it the other day and, 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 and that's um, going to be the first step and we're yeah, going to do it more. And I've had florals like uh, requests every week. So, um, and it's, it's, uh, People are asking for florals. And I could do more stuff. I could do, I'm thinking of doing uh, maybe birthday parties, you know. Maybe exactly. I could be. You did a birthday yeah. party for your daughter and it was beautiful. I When I came in, I said, this is your, this is the, the stuff that you should be doing because you live with her. And, and, and that's exactly yeah. where you can go with uh, Yeah, I don't have to just stop at the bosses. I could do interior work or. You know, there's so many things I could just do. My business is not just florals. It could be every... Yeah, you know, it could be even a wedding. It yes. can be interior. It can be interior yes. decorating. Yes. So and you're going to be seeing her, her work more. She's working on her Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I can add her Instagram later so we don't need to come to the camera. But you guys can check her out on Instagram as well. Uh, do you put anything on Facebook? As well? um, not oh, not really. really. Okay. But you can always connect your Instagram with Facebook. So the same picture that you sent through Instagram is on the Facebook as well. So there is a connection. You can do this. Okay. Uh, and that's something we can discuss. I can teach you at some other time. But anyway, guys, going extra mile. Uh, first of all, losing the weight and staying in a healthy zone. This is a must because you can't build empire uh, being unhealthy. This will break eventually. You need to have the strong walls and the walls and this is your house. This is the body that you live in. Your spirit lives in your physical body right. and you need to take care of it. You need to. There's not tomorrow, not yesterday. It's now, today, 
and mm-hmm. not making the excuses. Yeah. So, thank you so much. If you have any questions, let us know. Mm-hmm. Post, ask, comment, send me a DM. Uh, again, I will be sending you to her page so you can see her work. And of course, if you need to schedule your coaching calls, do this now. You can see in my bio, you can click on the consultation form and we'll link you directly to the page when you can schedule your consult and I will contact you for 20 minutes. It will change your life. Yes. Liz, thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Me. <laughs> this was awesome. Her first kind of show <laughs> like this and she did it. She nailed it. And yes, I thank you for your time. Uh, for your time today with us. This was No Excuses Ladies, episode number 39. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Talk to you soon.